Hey team, how's it going? Welcome to Control Surfaces Support. My name's Eddie Gray and I am that Logic Pro guy. Today I'm gonna show you how to sync your control surfaces to Logic Pro. This is primarily for control surfaces that have step sequencing capabilities. Now, why would you wanna do something like this? Well, you know how we always have to go into the piano roll and painstakingly draw notes inside of the piano roll, use our mouse to create patterns inside of the pattern region. A MIDI controller can also do that, such as this one right here, the Launchpad Pro by Novation. This robust controller has many features, including a step sequencer. So then rather than having to draw in the notes as we're accustomed to, now we can basically just sync up the MIDI controller so it sends MIDI data to and from Logic, all the while being perfectly in sync. It looks something like this. So how did I do that? Inside of the Logic Pro project settings, not to be confused with the Logic Pro settings menu, we're gonna go into synchronization. But before we do, let's just clear up. We have the Logic Pro settings, which looks something like this. And then we have the Logic Pro project settings, which look like that. And inside of the synchronization tab, you wanna go ahead and find the destination, AKA the control surface. And then you wanna enable the clock and that should build a working relationship between the controller and the DAW. You can use this to get the creative juices going. You can use this in conjunction with hardware, but you can also record in ideas like this. So you can see that this is just a different approach to our production methodologies here. You can see I was changing the velocity on the fly and everything is quantized. So that's a great thing, obviously. And this is just one of those subjects, control surfaces, synchronization that can be better documented within the Logic Pro resources. So if you have anything else to add to this conversation, I beseech you, please add it to the comments. I need everyone to benefit from this. And obviously I'm not the only one. I've gotten a ton of comments, I've got a big response from this series. So go ahead and contribute what you can and let's keep making music. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you on the next one.